Hello, boys and girls, and today we will be reading If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. This is another wonderful Christmas story written by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. Let's come along and see what happens if you take a mouse to the movies. If you take a mouse to the movies, he'll ask you for some popcorn. Mouse and his friend are in the concession stand of the movie theater. Behind them, you can see some popcorn popping in the popcorn maker, and it looks like Mouse's friend has tracked in some snow from outside. His green boots have little piles of snow falling behind him. When you give him the popcorn, he'll want to string it all together. How on earth did Mouse bring a needle and thread into the movie theater? Mouse is very tiny, and that needle looks just as big as he is. It looks like Mouse is going to be making some popcorn garland from the popcorn. Then he'll want to hang it on a Christmas tree. And as you can see, Mouse is taking off. I wonder where he's going. You'll have to buy him one. It looks like Mouse's friend is going to have to buy him a Christmas tree so Mouse has some place to hang his popcorn garland that he made. On the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard. He'll want to make one of his own. Look at Mouse, he's on top of a big pile of snow and he looks very excited to create his own snow mouse. And I love how the snowman in the back has a nice red hat with a green palm. Then he'll need a carrot for a nose. When he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort. He'll ask you to help him. As you can see from behind Mouse's friend, his friend brought many carrots for Mouse to pick the most perfect carrot from. And Mouse also took his friend's white and green striped hat and placed it on top of his snow mouse. I think Mouse did a wonderful job building a snow mouse. What do you think? Then he'll want to make some snowballs and have a snowball fight. Mouse and his friend built a wonderfully tall fort. And as you can see, Mouse is at the very top in the middle throwing tons of snowballs at his friend. I think they did a fantastic job. Have you ever had a snowball fight before? Mouse sure is doing a wonderful job throwing all of those snowballs. Mouse may be tiny, but he sure is strong. Playing outside will make him cold. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. He'll ask you for a blanket. Now, as you can see, Mouse and his friend are running inside and Mouse is sitting on the pillow right underneath the lamp. He's using the light and heat from the light bulb to get him warm again. And as you can see, he took off his little red overalls and hung them on the very tippy top of the lamp. Once he's nice and cozy, he'll want to listen to Christmas carols. You'll have to find some on the radio. As you can see, Mouse is curled up in a white blanket with red and green snowflakes all around. Mouse is so teeny tiny inside that great big blanket. And his friend has a green radio and he's listening to try and find some Christmas carols for his friend Mouse. And I also see a little microphone. He'll probably want to sing along. The carols will remind him of his Christmas tree, so he'll want to make some ornaments. I don't think Mouse is a very good singer. As you can see, his friend is covering up his ears. Would you cover up your ears if you were listening to a good singer? But Mouse looks adorable in his little green shorts with candy canes on them. And he's doing a wonderful job holding up that big microphone. That microphone is as big as he is. You'll get him some paper and glue. He'll ask you for glitter. Take a look at Mouse. He's back in his red overalls and he is pouring glue onto a green triangular shaped paper. I wonder what kind of ornaments he's making. And also in the background, you can see the little boy pulling in a Christmas tree through the front door. Looks like they're getting ready to decorate the Christmas tree with ornaments. When the ornaments are done, my goodness, Mouse is covered with so much glitter. Mouse created so many beautiful ornaments. I see a little Santa hat next to Mouse. He's also holding up a mouse angel and snowflake. Mouse made a Christmas star, a drum, a candy cane stick, 
and even a gold present with a blue bow. Mouse did a wonderful job. He'll hang them all up. Then he'll stand back and look at the tree. My goodness, Mouse should be very proud of himself. He created beautiful ornaments. I even see a little Mouse Santa Claus right in front. And look, Mouse's friend piled all of the ornaments on top of his head to help Mouse decorate the Christmas tree. He'll notice his popcorn string is missing. Oh no! Take a look at little Mouse. He is so shocked that he's missing his popcorn string that his little Santa hat has popped off of his head. And the Christmas tree is so full of beautiful ornaments that Mouse created that the tree is leaning over. Now how do you think Mouse is going to get his popcorn string back? So he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn. And chances are, when you give him the popcorn, he'll want you to take him to the movies. And as you can see, Mouse and his friend are carrying a bag of popcorn and are walking back to the movie theater. What movie do you think they're going to see once they get there? Do you think they're going to watch a Christmas movie again? All right, boys and girls, I truly hope you enjoyed If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. And I hope to see you guys back in a couple of days when I read another Christmas storybook for you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.